Prasad. I'm 12 years old and the name of the book that I will be reading is Rosie the Ruby Fairy and the Christmas Meal Mix-Up. In Sparkle Tongue on Ruby Hill, towering tall and proud, there stood a bustling post office with spires that reached the clouds. In charge of sorting all the post, each parcel, card and letter, was Rosie the Ruby Fairy. No one did it better. With one swish of her ruby wand, the post was marked to go by B Express for super fast or butterfly safe but slow. Rosie liked to work at speed. Her post was never late. But sometimes her deliveries reached the wrong door, house, or gate. At Christmas, Rosie whizzed and dashed. She had no time to pause. Her toughest task was sorting out the letters for Santa Claus. This year, the post was stacked sky high and in a ruby flurry, she sent them off by Turtle Dove, marked Cupcake Parlor, please hurry. Cupcake Parlor, that's odd. Christmas letters usually go to the North Pole. The next day, Rosie got a call. Cupcake parlor here. You sent the Christmas post to us. Poor Rosie cried. Oh dear. Whatever can I do, she wailed. I used the wrong address. And now the turtle doves are gone. How will I fix this mess? The turtle doves would not come back. Are you sure you can't help? Sorry, madam, we're on holiday. So she flew to ask the bees. We can't go to the North Pole. Our wings will surely freeze. Next, she searched the fairy web for someone else to help. But then she suddenly realized, I'm fast, I'll go myself. She grabbed the post at super speed, set upon her goal then took off on the journey to Santa One North Pole. Rosie flew in wind and snow with all her flying force. But when she checked the map, she gasped. Oh no, I've flown off course. I rushed and got it wrong again, she cried out, feeling beat. I've ruined Christmas, Rosie sobbed, but then came the pattering feet of a reindeer who smiled kindly and said what can i do she asked can you take me to santa she nodded and they flew off together santa's house came into into view and santa and rosie felt relieved She'd gotten there in the nick of time, for today was Christmas Eve. She knocked and Santa Claus appeared. He said, Dear, please come in. I hope I'm not too late, she said. Of course not. Let's begin. As Santa read each letter out, the elves made gifts with care. And Rosie soon fell fast asleep in Santa's snug, soft chair. The night stars twinkled in the sky. The sleigh was ready at last. Santa said, We'll take my reindeer. I promise that they're fast. When the sleigh reached Sparkle Tongue, the fairies give a cheer. Before I go, said Santa, I have one last idea. Close your eyes and hold my hand. Then wave your wand, he said. And just like that, the sky was filled with fireworks of ruby red. In the twinkling of a fairy's wand, Santa flew away, and Rosie snuggled into bed ready for Christmas Day. Rosie learned that when you rush, you can sometimes get into trouble. But if you try and don't give in, you can work through any muddle. Merry Christmas from the Guyana Learning Channel.